Hello there guys, uh, let's do a quick video of this uh, cheap power inverter I bought a few years ago. It's bought it from uh, uh, an electrical uh, outlet in the UK called Maplins and they're, 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 they're all over the UK. They sell just about everything that's electronic. Uh, pick this inverter up, it's a 600 watt modified sine wave inverter. And what this means is basically it's kind of a square wave output but it's pulse width modulated. So. Uh, <clears throat> it kind of like behaves like a sine wave but it's not and uh, there's a common problem with it with people think with these and generally the, when you check the output voltage of a standard multimeter they actually show a low voltage so uh, <clears throat> I'll demonstrate this right the battery voltage at the moment is 12 volts and you can see that on camera is that in shot? Yeah. That's 12.81 volts, so it's fully charged. I've put it onto AC volts. If you can still see that on the camera. It's a standard UK 3 pin plug, you have to put something in the earth terminal before you can put anything in the, the power terminal's safety. Right, that's the wrong limit. Okay. The meter's actually showing uh, 205 volts, which you might think that's wrong, it's a bit low. But if you plug something into it, it does run quite well. That multimeter there is only a cheap meter, it's uh, not a true RMS multimeter. So basically the, the modified sine wave of that is kind of confusing the meter. Now this is a plug-in power energy monitor. And the, the, this is, has actually got a true RMS meter into it. So I tip the meter, tip the sorry inverter upside down, and plug that into it, saying the correct voltage. To, well, it's it's a 230 volt inverter, which is a European standard voltage. It's 232.8, and if I measure the frequency, 49.9 hertz, 50 hertz. So we know that's right. Right, I'm going to try and load it down with quite a powerful load and uh, I think the best thing to do that with is if that show up on the camera 600 watt angle grinder but generally you're not supposed to load these down to the full, uh, full uh, output because uh, generally things have a power, power factor on them this is the right lead. Find the right lead here for the. Uh... Ah, here we are. That's it. That's got his. A 600 watt angle grinder on a 600 watt inverter and. I tried doing a bit of grinding there on the bench and when I pressed hard I could, I could I could tell the difference from when it's plugged in directly off the wall socket. There is a, there is a bit of a power drop, but I say that's uh, running it at its maximum. So there you have it, a cheap 600 watt modified sine wave inverter. And if you ever stick a multimeter in the outer, in the, uh, on the output and wondering why it's only saying 200 volts when it's meant to be 230, it's because standard cheapo meter they just can't measure the uh, true rms so the modified sine wave kind of kind of confuses them oh see you later